I feel like the narrative Hollywood's trying to sell about black people is the same thing the media's been selling, that we're poor us. Our lives are in danger every day just by living here in this country. They see me as a black man and they automatically go to victimhood or criminal. Hi, my name's Siaka Masakwa. This is my story. I'm an actor, been here in LA for about 16 years now. My parents are Liberian, so I'm first generation American, and I was born in Rochester, New York. I grew up with my mom and my younger brother. I grew up extremely liberal. I think I grew up in a time when it was progressive before the phrase was popular. It's also told people in the South are super racist and they'll hang you, be careful. It's also told do not go into rural areas because then no one will find you and then you'll be lynched, be careful. This is what I was told in the 90s about the other side and about this country. Cops will always act a certain way towards you, be careful. I took this one class called uh, Black Action Theater. I found that when I started doing the work in that class, it was the only thing that I ever did where I enjoyed the process just as much as the final product. When I got into this class and he had us writing scripts and he had us handing out our scripts and then other people perform it and you get a script at the moment and I'm like, well, how quickly can I get into this character? Like I just really found a passion for the process of it. It was an opportunity not only just to tell stories, but to tell stories at a, at, a, at a big level, you know, where you know it's going to reach and touch a lot of different people. That's what it was to me. And it was a chance to all these different fantasies I had in my head about like, you know, being the hero that can fly or the guy who's saving the princess with a sword, fighting the dragon, all those things that I would read. I'm like, Hollywood offers that. When you're a non-union actor, I felt like, well, once I get into the union, then it's real. And I worked my butt off to try to do that in these different kind of hustle ways. And I finally got in, I realized when I was in, it's like, that's only just a, a taste of what it is. You need to like put in the work, go to classes, all this stuff that I didn't understand. I don't think it was hard because I was black. I think it was hard because I didn't play the these certain characters. It didn't fit like my energy. Hollywood is the is probably the most racist place that I've ever experienced. Early agents that I would have was, oh, you ever think about being a bad guy? You should uh, hip hop it up more. What am I like slowly losing in my heart every time I go in for these parts, every time I cater to what, how they want me to be in this, what I find very bigoted approach. You have people like uh, Jordan Peele saying, I'm not interested in telling white stories. I don't know what that means. You have Seth Rogen saying, I'm not gonna hire white people anymore. All these people that made their money already. All these people that did in that same system that has been, they're screaming is super racist and super turned off. Now they're doing the exact same thing and stating it. They will say some of the most disgusting things around me and I know they're only comfortable because I'm a black guy. I know it. I don't think it's funny that you say, I don't like to hang out with white people and laugh. I don't think that's funny, that's terrible. It's okay you don't hire that guy because he's a tall white guy. It's okay that you do hire that guy because he's a black guy. That is racist, plain and simple. That is racist. Why would I want to be a part of that? That's the thing that really started to upset me. Do I see a white white man coming towards me and be like, he's racist and here we go? Because that's, that's the ideology I was raised in. Old white men initially, you're racist. So I saw color, but I saw it from an evil standpoint and from a gross standpoint. And then I find out that wasn't true. That's the only thing that had pushed me away from the left was actually then going out and finding out for myself and not just trusting the book that was told to me or the TV show that told me how to think. You have these young black boys and black black girls looking for an answer, and you got Oprah telling them, oh yeah, it's white privilege. What country in the 80s would allow a fat black woman to have a daytime talk show that now she is one of the richest people on the planet? That was here in America. I feel like the narrative Hollywood's trying to sell about black people is the same thing the media's been selling, that we're the poor us. Our lives are in danger every day just by living here in this country. They see me as a black man and they automatically go to victimhood or criminal. So that's how they start to control the culture because then that's all you see is your representation. Then you have social media doubling down on it. Then you have the news doubling down on it. So you give them the entertainment so they can relate from it from an emotional standpoint. Then you do it in uh, social media and, and, and news media where you give them like, look at the real life stuff. It's happening here. We're gonna censor out when it happens to anyone else and only show you this thing. So now it connects with that movie you watched, right? Nothing's changed since the civil rights movement. Man, that's not the truth. All my problems were me. They weren't because anyone else out there who didn't look like me was setting me up to fail. There's so much fear in this industry. And if anyone is on the right, that's it, you're done. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. Doesn't matter if you're a woman. Doesn't matter if you're gay. 
I have been removed from this and uh, from a couple projects, and I've seen friends be removed from projects, so people keep their mouth shut. For me, the fear was there too, but to keep my mouth shut so I can maybe get a job saying three or four lines on a co-star, like, it doesn't add up anymore. I would say, to there be a call to action for anyone in Hollywood, anyone who may be watching this, it's ask yourself what really matters in your heart. We have a chance to be different. And if you don't, you're gonna have to live with that for the rest of your life. You have a chance today, let's go, let's do it, let's try. And your strength will again give strength to others. There's other people there that you will find, I guarantee it. And the sacrifice isn't as bad as you think. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you wanna see videos like this and more for free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation to PragerU. We got more content coming.